Hi, this is Dentube. Today, I am going to explain about the maxillary edentulous arch. Let's begin with some anatomical landmarks present in the maxillary edentulous arch. A fibrous band that extends from the labial aspect of the residual ridge to the lip is known as labial frenum. Similar kind of structure that extends towards the cheek is known as buccal frenum. The portion of the oral cavity that is bounded on one side by alveolar ridge and on the other side by lips and cheeks is known as vestibule. When it is bounded by lip, it is called labial vestibule and if it is bounded by cheek, it is called buccal vestibule. So the buccal frenum separates vestibule into the labial and the buccal vestibule. A midline structure situated behind the position of central incisors is called incisive papilla. Another midline structure that extends behind the incisive papilla is the mid palatine raphe. Some folded structures located in the anterior region of the palatal mucosa are the rugae. The highest portion of the alveolar ridge forms the crest of the alveolar ridge. The docks of several mucosal glands collis forming fovea palatini. Bulbous extension of the residual ridge in the second and third molar region is the maxillary tuberosity. Depression situated between the maxillary tuberosity and the hemulus of medial pterygoid plate is the hemular notch. The area of the palate that contains the posterior surface of denser is known as the posterior palatal seal area. Now let's try to learn those structures in this clinical picture. This is labial frenum. These structures are buccal frenum. This is incisive papilla. This structure is mid palatine raphe this is the crest of alveolar ridge which is present on both the sides this is the maxillary tuberosity and this is the hemular notch And we can see the openings here. These are fovea palatini. And this is the posterior palatal seal area. So this becomes labial vestibule. And this becomes buccal vestibule. Anatomic landmarks in maxilla are basically divided into limiting structures, supporting structures, and relief areas. Under limiting structures, we have labial frenum, labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buccal vestibule, hemular notch, and posterior palatal seal area. Under supporting structures, we have primary stress bearing area and secondary stress bearing area. On the relief areas, we have incisive papilla, cuspid eminence, mid palatine raphe, and fovea palatini. On the primary stress bearing area, we have hard palate, posterior lateral slopes of the residual alveolar ridge, and on the secondary stress bearing area, we have rugae and maxillary tuberosity. That's all for the anatomic landmarks in the maxillary edentulous arts. See you soon next time till then study smart